Google Forms is a powerful free app that allows you to create any type of form and embed it on your website so that you can start capturing leads and sending those leads to your CRM or other database. And today I'm going to share two methods that you can use to capture and manage your leads with both Google Forms and Google Sheets. Okay, so just quickly, before we go ahead and launch into Google Forms, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and improve the way that you capture and manage leads using Google Forms and Google Sheets. Okay, so the first method for capturing leads using Google Forms and Google Sheets is by heading over to docs.google.com and that's gonna take you here. Now you do need a Google account and this is a completely free method. Then what you wanna do is go ahead and create a new form. You can also create a form from a pre-made template if you like. Then navigate up to the title and rename your form. Then come down and add a form description if you like. Then once you've added a description, what we want to do is navigate up to customize theme and here we can customize the overall look of our form. Go ahead and customize your header, question and text style. I'm happy with the default, then come down and click on header. Here we have the option to either use images from themes, we can upload our own images or use our photos. I'm going to go ahead and use a theme image. I'm happy with this image here. Once you've selected an image, go ahead and click on insert. Here we can change the theme color as well as the background. I'm happy with this color. Then once you're happy with your changes, click on close theme. Now we want to add the appropriate fields for capturing the information from our contacts. Our first question, I'm gonna call this. This could be full name, name, first name, or last name. I'm just gonna add name for the purpose of today's tutorial. Then change from multi-purpose to short answer. Then come down and click on required. Then what we're gonna do is duplicate this and type an email. Why? Well, this means we can connect and reach this lead from directly inside their email inbox. It also means we can engage in email marketing activities. Now, you also have these formatting options down here, but I'm gonna leave this for now. Next, I'm going to navigate down and duplicate this again. And this time, instead of short answer, I'm going to click on paragraph. And for me, I'm going to add, please share some struggles that you're having in your business. And this field is not going to be required. Then we have some options up here. We can quickly add another question. We can import questions. We can add a new title and description. We can also add an image, video, and we can add sections to this form. However, because this is a lead gen form, we want to make the form as simple as possible for our potential leads to fill out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add one more. And this is going to be multi-choice. And I'm going to add, how did you hear about us? Again, this is not gonna be required. And I want to add a few answers in here. And I'm happy with this form. How did you hear about us? YouTube, Facebook, email, blog, or other. Okay, so once you've completed your form and before we move on to responses and settings, we want to preview what this form looks like. Okay, so I'm happy with this form. Let's navigate back to Google Forms and then navigate up to responses. And this is where we can manage all our responses. Now, what we can also do is go ahead and click on link to sheets and we can create a completely new Google spreadsheet. We can also go ahead and rename that sheet or we can connect an existing spreadsheet. For now, we're gonna create a new spreadsheet for the responses from this form. And as you can see, just like that, the Google Sheet has been created for our responses. We have a timestamp, when that lead was captured, their name, email, details about their business, and the option that they selected on the form. Okay, so let's head back to Google Forms. What we can also do is navigate up here and click on these three dots and we can get an email notification for new responses. And this is something we want to get notified for. We want to be notified via email if we get a new lead. And as you can see, email notifications enabled. Then navigate up to settings and then come down to responses. Make sure that you have do not collect next to collect email addresses because we've already created a field for this and then we do not want to restrict users. So we're gonna turn this off and then keep everything else as it is, then click on presentation. Here we can add a show progress bar if we like, shuffle question order. This is great if you're creating some kind of quiz. Here you can edit the confirmation message, I'm happy with this. Here we want to remove the link to submit another response, and then we have defaults. However, I'm happy with these settings. Okay, so let's navigate back over to questions, and then click on send. What we can do is navigate over to this link icon and we can come down and copy the link to this form. We can also shorten the URL and then click on copy as this shorter URL looks more attractive. And we can share this form across our different marketing channels. Now what we can also do is navigate over to embed 
and you can play around with the width as well as the height of this form if you want to embed the form into your website. For example, I'm going to quickly go ahead and copy this and log into one of my Google sites. However, you can embed this Google form into any website platform or website builder. And as you can see, I'm on the book now page inside my Google sites website. What I can do is navigate over to embed and then click on embed code and paste in the code in here that I copied from Google forms. Then come down and click on next. And as you can see, this is the form come down and click on insert. Here we can drag out the form and then make the entire form fit in this page. And I'm happy with that. And as you can see in the book now page, I now have a free consultation booking form. And that is the first method. Now the second method is by using my Sheetify CRM, which is an all-in-one business toolkit that I built for small and micro businesses. This Google Sheets based CRM allows you to manage all your contacts, engage in email marketing, manage all your tasks, your sales funnel, as well as your inventory and more using this one Sheetify CRM Google Sheets platform. If you're interested in learning more or purchasing this Sheetify CRM, what I'll do is add the link down below in the description and give you a small discount if you want to get started with Sheetify. However, let me show you a cool feature that Sheetify CRM allows you to do with Google Forms for capturing leads. Okay, so here I am inside my Sheetify CRM. Now, if I want to capture leads and add them to my contacts and leads sheet, all I need to do is navigate up to Sheetify, if I haven't done this already, and then navigate down to set up Sheetify, and then click on create a form. And that's going to allow me to create a form that's connected to this CRM. If we navigate down here, you can see that we have a sheet and automatically we have name, first name, company name, email address, phone number, and if I move this across, select the relevant type here, as well as how did you find out about us? And we can customize each of these on the form if we like. Now all we need to do is navigate up to tools and then come down to manage form and then click on edit form. And this is the form that's connected to our Google Sheets CRM. Again, like I showed you at the beginning of this video, all you need to do is go ahead and customize each of these different fields, as well as play around with the theme and add your own personalizations. For example, if we come down here, I can come down and click on this question and change this to select your business type. And if I click out of here, that change that I just made will show up on my Google Sheet inside my Sheetify CRM, as you can see over here. Now, if we navigate back over to that Google form, you can see that we have these options down here. Now, these are automatically added based on the information that you added in the Sheetify CRM settings. So if I head back to the Sheetify CRM, and then navigate down the page and locate settings, you can see that I can make changes down here under type. This could be business type, product type, customer type, or even service type. I can add those down here based on the information that I want to collect. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to my Google form. And then again, what we wanna do is navigate over to responses, and you can see the Google Sheet is already connected because that's connected to our Sheetify CRM automatically. And in here, we want to make sure that we get email notifications for new responses. That's the only thing that we need to enable. Okay, so I'm going to quickly preview this form and fill out this form as a potential lead. Okay, so I've gone ahead and filled out this information. I'm going to come down and click on submit and then head back to the Google Sheet inside my Sheetify CRM. As you can see under form responses, and again, we can change the name of this if we like by simply navigating up to rename. You can see we have all this data up here from that first submission that I just added. Now what we can do is highlight all this information and then right click and then come down and click on copy. Then head over to contacts and leads. Then down here, all we need to do is click here, right click and then paste special and then values only. And as you can see, just like that, we've easily added that new contact, that new lead into our CRM. And just like that, I've covered two methods that you can use for capturing leads using Google Forms and Google Sheets. And again, if you want to learn more about my Sheetify CRM for small businesses, I will add the appropriate resources down below in the description for you to check out. This includes the website as well as the YouTube video that covers everything you need to know about my Sheetify CRM. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Google Forms and Google Sheets tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about capturing leads using these two methods, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.